Hi guys, welcome to my video. In this video today, oh, sorry. I'm going to be doing a, just a living room tour. Living room foyer. Why am I doing this video, you might ask? Let me tell you. I just recently redecorated. Like, literally went from super dark colors like chocolates and burnt orange and um what was the other color like um burnt orange and then just like bright orange and dark colored furniture and real earth tones beautiful colors nonetheless but really really dark and in switching things over to the lighter color that i have now i realized decorating can be really expensive and stressful stressful so i wanted to show you ways that i have incorporated that glam factor in my decor without breaking the bank so without continuing to talk we're going to go ahead and get started right here in the foyer this is where you walk in my home at and this is going to be the first thing that you see this is a split for your house this door here leads to downstairs i'll show you that tour as well if you want to see it but right here this is the foyer area okay and not a big area this is about the gist of it right here but i did want to make it inviting the color of the walls and most of the walls here in this space is repose gray by sharon williams and then i'll show you the accent color in just a second Right here um, is a mirror that I purchased from Home Goods, as well as a little stand right here, a mirrored stand that I purchased from the at home store. And some little trinkets right here on the stand. Now, we all like the mirrored look, the mirrored furniture, that glam factor, if that's your style. I'm going to show you ways that I've incorporated mirrored accents and blingy things in my um, design again without spending a ton of money here's a great way to incorporate blingy things right here this is just a vase I picked it up at probably Ross it adds a lot of bling it's like um, not really mosaic but it does have a very shimmering factor to it on the mirrored side of things silver accents this little bird cage or lantern wood a mixture of textures it's wood as well as the little silver top there on top and then this is an area where we put our my husband puts his keys and shades most of the time and then of course a candle let's go upstairs you'll also see this as you're going up the steps and these mirrors are from I think Marshalls and I purchased them on Clarence um, because one of them is missing another great way to add glam is mirrored items so up the stairs that is where we just came from which is the foyer area and now we're on just a landing at the top of the stairs and over here is where we're going to tour so let me show you this first that's an accent wall, which is a teal blue color over here. That picture on the wall is from Pier 1. And this is what you'll see if you walk into the living space. And I'll just do a pan around view and then we'll talk about some of the things that you'll see here in the space and over there is the kitchen so when you first walk into the space let me step over here on this side you have the sectional which I turned into a sectional it's not actually a sectional and I'll tell you how in just a second this from here over to the chaise over there is from Ashley Furniture. 
All that's from Ashley. And it came that way, except this piece. This is an addition. This is a ottoman that we had, and it was a different color. But I wanted to add it to this um, sectional, so I found some fabric that was really close to the existing fabric and matched it up as close as possible and then covered that ottoman. I added this nail head trim in silver, which is very popular, as well as added it to the existing one over here to tie the two pieces together. So on the half wall right here, I just have some greenery because you got to have some greenery in a space that's very blingy and sparkly and um, can, because it can appear real cold if you don't soften it up with something like some greenery. So I just have that, some silver frames. Um, this candle holder is actually a DIY I did from the Dollar Tree stuff. That, and that's, uh, I think, a coconut candle burning. Um, this piece came from Pier 1. Um, and I had been watching him for a while. He went on clearance, and I grabbed him. Another way to incorporate some bling and that mirrored factor is through accessories. Gives you the same effect as it would be if you had, like, a chest or something. Another frame, and then another DIY candle holder, more pictures, and then, again, another piece of greenery, which those came from Target. Then I hung a chandelier in the foyer area. Very inexpensive Home Depot. Moving around the wall, have this, um, I never can remember what building this is. But this picture has rhinestones all throughout it embellished in it. So it is super sparkly. And that is that came from Ross, actually. And I'll show you the other one in just a second. Probably not going to be able to see the curtains because of the windows. But it's just a teal panel on the end with rhinestones at the top. Then I have a silver shimmery one here. And then a um, sheer white one with a, another shade of teal topper. And the little pom-poms off, hanging off of it. And here I just have a Christmas ornament um, and a tie back, silver Christmas ornament. Then over here, lamp, which is from Home Goods. Another way to incorporate mirrored, I added a mirrored tray on top of a Craigslist end table that I DIY'd. It was a dark brown color. I painted it white. Changed out the hardware, put that mirror on top, with that mirror tray on top, instantly added some bling. I threw in some greenery, another picture frame, that's my grandson, and a little silver potpourri pumpkin. Gives me the same effect as it would if I had a mirrored table, in my opinion. Over here, here's the other one. It's a picture of the Eiffel Tower. It, too, is very blingy. Not real sure if you can see it, but... Yeah, it's super sparkly. Then down here, I just have a basket, which I purchased from, well, not a basket, but a little storage bin that I have blankets in. It came from Burlington Coat, very inexpensive. And then I have an apothecary jar with Christmas ornaments in it that match my decor. And it just sits there. On this wall, the wallpaper wall, this was probably one of the hardest projects that I have undertook ever in my life, I would say. Um, but very well worth it in the end. It turned out beautiful. And I never thought I'd be so in love with wallpaper. But this wallpaper is a um, Pinterest-inspired idea. But I actually bought the paper from a local wallpaper place here in my um, city that mirror and that one home goods not too expensive um, I do know Hobby Lobby still carries these mirrors and they're double the price so if you purchase them from Hobby Lobby you may want to get them at the 50% off so that you can get um, if you need two I'm saying because they are selling one for what I paid for two 
this is a vase I purchased from a seller on Craigslist. Of course, it was another color, and I spray painted it silver. Again, that's a Craigslist find. That green leaf, um, I'm probably just going to add some more of those. I'm not real sure yet. I was just trying something out. But I actually do like the greenery over here against the silver um, wallpaper wall. That's just um, surround sound stuff. This dresser turn entertainment center is another Craigslist find. It was the dresser again, and I turned it into my entertainment center. Spray painted it white, changed out the hardware, removed the top drawers, and then I actually filled them in with the leftover wallpaper so that it would look continuous when you're looking straight at it. Okay? And it just keeps uh, DVDs and other random stuff. But on it, I have this silver vase that came from Home Goods. <clears throat> this white ceramic seashell that came from the at home store. And I just have some pink flowers in it from the Dollar Tree. That's a new frame, so I have to get a photo for it. And then, of course, the TV. I'm watching Hansel and Gretel. And then another white vase that came from the at-home store. Another new frame. And another silver vase um, that came from the at-home store. And again, just white uh, pink flowers in there. That's probably the most color you're going to see in my space. I'm very neutral. Here's another one of those vases. Again, um, Craigslist. Another mirror. And then some... Candle sconces and candles that both came from uh, Hobby Lobby. Okay, right here I just have two um, armless chairs that I got from Home Goods. Another uh, lamp, same as the other one, Home Goods. More greenery, photos, my dad and my aunt. Another pumpkin and another, the same um, end table. From the same seller on Craigslist. And then I added another silver tray to balance it out. Over here on this side. Love that. Love it. I have these um, fluffy white ribbon-like pillows. And uh, a white color throw. Actually, this is not like a throw. This is fabric that I purchased from a fabric store. And I cut them um, and then just use them in various places like that. Okay. Over here on this couch, I have a throw right here that's from Home Goods. This pillow is from Burlington Coat. That pillow came with it. I turned it around because of that print. I don't really care for that. Um, another way to make a space glammy and luxurious is fur. Got these faux fur pillows, the blue one and the white and gray from Home Goods. And then I paired it up with a shimmery beaded pillow also from Home Goods. There. Over here on this one, I just have a, what is that, silver shimmery pillow from Home Goods. And then the two real frilly pillows behind it are from Burlington Coat. Coffee table is a, another DIY. I purchased this from a seller on OfferUp. Um, it was just the table. It was a really ugly color, like a yellowish cream color. Um, and she didn't have, well, she had three of the inserts that were glass, clear glass. And I knew I was going to switch them out to mirror, so... Went to Lowe's and just had three mirror, four mirror squares, mirrored squares cut to size, and they fit right in there. Spray painted it white and then sealed it with a sealant. On it, I just have some magazine, home decor magazines, a gold little, I think that's like a pocketbook bank. Or no, 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 no. You know what? I, I realized what that is. It's a lock. It's like a big padlock. That's a bank, though. And then I have this little wooden elephant here that's also reading a book. On it, I have another DIY candle from the Dollar Tree. I just made it extra tall. 
and then a wood wick candle that's burning right now. I have a little trinket tray, a mirrored trinket, tr trinket tray with a little pocketbook on top. And then just a little white ceramic uh, ball that I think is a vase. But I put it on top of a candle holder that I purchased from Ross. Along with this ceramic owl. And then a mirrored jewelry box or you could use it for whatever you want but i it, i think it's beautiful because it has that detailing on it right there i love sparkle and bling and then i just have a clear hurricane with a white and silver um flower arrangement stuck down in that and so this is the table from this side i love taking older pieces giving them a new look Great, great way to save money when you're doing a major, um, when you're doing major decorations for larger pieces. This is a great way to save a dime. I'm telling you, is to get in there with some elbow grease and just change out the look of something, make it your own. And this is going. This. Let me say this before I end this video. This cutout that you see, how you're able to see over into the kitchen. I actually cut that out myself. Um, didn't want to take the entire wall down because it is a load-bearing wall. So I just opened it up and then reinforced it so that it would give the illusion of an open floor plan because I can see in there and they can see out here and it doesn't feel so closed off. And it makes it, you know, it, the upstairs appear larger because... It's continuing over there. Your eye doesn't just stop at a wall. So I'll give you another pan around of the space. And I hope that you could grab some inspiration from, I don't know, something that you see here in this video. I decorated this room not all at once, but just, you know, slowly purchasing pieces that I absolutely love, and then doing a lot of DIYs to cut the cost. Oh, let me tell you, this rug right here is a. I purchased this from Big Lots, super inexpensive at Big Lots. Yeah, and so this was just me. I'm Sharon, sharing my tips and tricks that I have used to decorate and glam up my living room space with little to no money really other than just a few inexpensive clearanced items and a lot of diy and that is about it let me show you this guy and then i'm gonna go he is from it's a horse actually and i purchased him from burlington coat factory for 2.99 on clearance Okay, guys, so that is going to conclude this video. I hope that, again, that it was helpful, that you got some type of inspiration from this video. And if you want to see a tour of my kitchen, you know what? I'll just give you a tour of the kitchen. Don't even worry about it. I'll give you a tour of the kitchen so that I can continue to show you ways that I saved money during my decorating process. Thank you for watching this video. And, again, I hope that you could get some inspiration out of it. Okay, see you guys in the next video. Bye!